Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of 2048 units of Yard for Doom 2 in the Ultra Violence Difficulty playthrough PR Boom Plus. We are doing all levels of the pistol start, and this is map 12, so spiral. Let's begin. Alright, let's begin with this level. Outside there's lots of enemies, so let's get the heck inside. Let's go into this little area to kill these guys and also shoot this sneaky switch right here for later. I'll show you what it opens up in the future, but for now, we're also going to go into here and kill some pinkies. Because we get a berserk out of it, we might as well, right? Alright, so there's some hit scanners by the retirement grease there. And some more enemies as well. Some might teleport around, but they're not in this area, so you don't have to worry about them too much. Let's bully this cacodemon before we fight this remnant. Let's see if we can get him in a pain state. You know, he'll do that psych bullcrap. Maybe not. If he doesn't, he should be in the clear. Alright, so we did it. So let's press this button and also press this sneaky button. When you press the sneaky button, you want to quickly go over to this area and get the secret with the supercharge. Okay, so now you can open this area up and kill some of these guys out here. You want to kill the chain gunner first. At least that's what I like to do. So I can get his chain gun and use it to kill these guys. Or submachine gun. Whatever version of the mod you're playing, really. Let's now bully the imps up on the battlements here. If you try to run off the platform, you'll get instantly teleported to the center there. So don't worry about it. Let's just hope the auto-aim wants to work with me. Maybe it doesn't. At least we have some more shells and clips, quote-unquote, to help deal with this mess, though. Alright, good. We're gonna go back into here now, because this area has some more enemies, like the specters that you probably heard teleporting, the specters and pinkies. This friend is up here as well, so let's just harass him with bullets. Because that's how you harass enemies, you just shoot them. Right in their ugly mugs. Alright, so when you grab the Red Skull key, turn around and you'll be greeted with a lot of shotgunners. Make sure you get rid of all of them. I like to use the submachine gun to get rid of them. But, that should be all of them. There should be, like, some stragglers here and there, but... If there are any, just look around you should be able to get rid of them all quickly. Okay, so we have the Red Key. Now what? Now we can go here and open this part up. We'll have a few imps lying around waiting for you. As well as some other enemies, like these guys. While they're waking up, I'm gonna go right into this portal that opened up because we hit that blue button from earlier in the, like, cell parts. It leads to the secret area. But, aside from that, we can just go and ignore the remnants for the time being. I'm gonna bully this cacodemon. Because, in this area, is the ninja shotgun. Huzzah! We can use it on these manky by. If you lose health, there's a medikit right there. There's also a switch here too. That'll help us for later. You want to press all the line head switches because they lead to the other side of that bridge we were trying to open up. And there's more where that came from. I use a regular shotgun on this dude. Because I don't want to get up close and get hit while I'm on that, like, tightrope style chasm space here. Not good. But we should be alright now. Everyone's dead, we can cross the chasm and grab the rocket launcher. Alright, so in this room are two Heck Knights doing their Heck now. 
or heck no techno, so let's just mow them all down, grab the rockets, and use them to kill this archfile who really isn't doing anything, really. Let's just look at him, bro. I'm gonna use the shotgun for the rest of these enemies, except for the Baron, as you probably saw. Okay, maybe the Remnant here, too. Because they give you lots of rockets, you might as well use them if you have the chance to. And you too. Sure, why not? What do you think? Let's finish him off the fish, shall we? And get a look at this little scenery here. It's pretty, isn't it? Well, anyways, you can go up here if you want. You could go down here if you want to try to grab that, but... I failed, but we should be fine either way. Because, uh... There's only, like, one real enemy, but... You can tell he's making some friends, too. Ah, yeah, failed again. Well, third time's the charm, huh? Maybe not. This will be my real trial here. It's not really a secret or anything, it's just a... Nice little bonus to have. Alright, so I'm sure you hear our friend. We're gonna go visit him now. It's nice to have a little bit of insurance when it comes to guys like these. And let's get rid of all the friends he resurrected. And that should be it. Yes, it is. So, let's not fall off the edges here and go straight towards the exit. And that is the Spiral, and it's a pretty short map by Punch You in the Face Man. That's a nice name. But yeah, um... You probably heard the Eternal Doom music, and the textures. It's kind of reminded me of a really short version of a level from that. I, I think it's because of the textures. It's not the same. Well, some of them might be, but uh... It's mostly... Like, the skybox being blue, the castle environments, and some pretty peculiar secrets, but they aren't too peculiar, like they are in the actual Eternal Doom. It's mostly the music that, like, gives it that vibe as well. It's like the cherry on top, with the marimbas and vibraphones. It... that's a, a Rich Nagel staple. Rich Nagel was the composer for Eternal Doom. He wrote all the songs, so... He featured it quite dominantly in the soundtrack, and you can hear that in most of the songs. But, yeah, this is a cute map. Um, some nice encounters here and there, but not the most difficult. So it's still very doable. The start can kind of get you if you aren't prepared for it or aren't expecting it because, you know, there's a lot of enemies out in a wide open area and you just want to get out of there as quickly as you can. But aside from that, it's still very doable. Anyways, we are done with this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we go into map 13. But until then, toodaloo.